Tonight update this morning on a story that continues to trend on our website, the threat of being exposed to drugs while doing your grocery shopping. This all started with a Facebook post by a small police department in Arkansas. But now, Meredith Sula is here with an update and the truth about that post. Meredith, this is, uh, has all of us shaking our heads this morning. Yeah, because here's how it all started. So last week, the Leechville Police Department in Arkansas posted the recommendation that shoppers wipe down the handle on their grocery carts. The post went on to say this. If the handle has traces of the deadly drug fentanyl on it, that powerful opioid could get into your system. Well, the post went viral. People worried about accidentally exposing themselves or their children to drugs. But the Leechville PD has since taken down that post and posted an apology, saying it received the information from someone else and didn't verify it before posting. And there is no scientific evidence to prove that touching trace amounts of fentanyl can cause the drug to enter a person's system. It would have gotten there from someone, possibly. They would have had it on their hands, and uh, how much of a risk would they have taken? So, I mean, it just really makes absolutely no sense. And get this, the DEA says alcohol-based sanitizers, including shopping cart wipes to remove fentanyl, could make skin more susceptible to absorbing the drug. However, again, it is unlikely your cart will have opioids on it. What it probably does have is a lot of germs, so a bit of sanitizer can't hurt. Very interesting. It's all going to be okay. Well, that's yeah. good. Because <laughs> every time I went to go grocery shopping, I was starting to get scared. Yeah. Yeah. It, the wipes for the germs, fine, because, again, you would have to have so much of the opioid on there to actually cause a problem with using the wipe. So, yeah. Yeah. Good information. Thanks for clearing We're all that up. Be okay. Fake news patrol. Show, show us the truth. Thanks, Meredith. <laughs>